So in this um, video here, I want to talk a little bit about um, demand and supply. And this is going to be an incredibly important um, chapter um, for um, this first part of the course. And this is going to be a rather long set of videos, but again, it is the most important thing. Maybe the most important thing that you'll learn in this class, and hopefully the most lasting thing that you'll learn in this class. So with that said, the first thing is looking at what the purpose of supply and demand is. You know, why are we doing it? And why are we maybe even doing it so early? Second, we're going to look at all the aspects of demand. Third, we're going to look at supply. Then, we're basically going to put them together. And the process of putting them together is basically a process where, we're, where we are finding um, equilibrium. Then we're going to look at where there is disequilibrium or where the markets are not in balance. And it's where we see either excess supply, which we tend to know as a surplus, basically too much, or we may have excess demand, which we may know as a shortage. Then what we want to do is we want to start shifting the curves. And we want to then distinguish between movements along the curve versus shifts. Then we're going to look at price ceilings and floors. Uh, basically, government restrictions in the marketplace. Then we're going to look at concepts called consumer surplus and producer surplus. For right now, I'll just shorten it as CS and PS. And then finally, we want to look at something known as the deadweight loss. Here, I'll just shorten it to DWL.